Hey guys, Mike here with everythingaboutconcrete.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how we do a stamp concrete patio. Now this patio is about 50 feet long and about 12 feet wide. And we, the access wasn't that great, so we had to use this conveyor truck, which made it pouring pretty easy, actually. Hey, for you guys that don't know me, my name's Mike Day. I specialize in stamp concrete. And... Just real quick, I wanted to let you guys know that I, I came out with a stamp concrete course. I just finished the course, and it's going to be available right now. And there'll be a link for it down in the description. And the course is going to teach you everything you need to know about stamping concrete. So I have plenty of examples and lessons in there on pouring the concrete just like we're doing here. And then how we stamp it, the process of stamping the concrete how we saw cut it, how we clean it, how we seal it, and everything you need to know to complete a stamp concrete project on your own. Or if you're in the concrete business and you want to add stamping you know, to your, to your repertoire, then uh, you could add stamping by learning from this course and then going out and actually practicing on some concrete. So that's, that's the best way to learn is watch somebody else do it or work with somebody else and then go out and try it on a on a small project so the stamp concrete course is now available it's it's how to stamp concrete and it's down in the description below so check that out and uh, I'd appreciate it you help support this site and help support me and keep all these uh, other videos I can do for free so what we're doing is we're pouring these concrete uh, we're pouring this concrete patio we're using gull gray in the concrete for our color and we always mix our color into the concrete so I go I go get the color and or I order it from Marshalltown it arrives at my house and then I bring it to the concrete plant and we put it right in the concrete trucks when he's batching the concrete so the color gets to mix in the concrete trucks all the way to the job site so when it shows up, it's mixed in really good. Now, gall gray basically just keeps the concrete a darker gray color. And when concrete dries, especially this 4,000 PSI mix, it actually dries really light, kind of almost, almost whitish. It's a really light, light gray. And these people wanted to keep it a little bit darker in color. So that's why we put gray into concrete. So we're just getting the pour finished up. Uh, the pour went pretty good. It was about a eight inch thick pour, and you know we had some wire mesh in there for reinforcement. We have fiber mesh in the concrete for reinforcement also. I always use a four thousand psi with a three eight stone. It's a p stone mix for for my stamping projects. It just I like stamping the smaller aggregate a little bit better than the larger aggregate. It just makes stamping a little easier. So we're getting this thing poured out. We just about got it finished. And if you if you look up back there where we started, some of this is in the sun and some of this is in the shade. So we're going to have to really keep an eye on that part in the sun. That's going to dry a little bit quicker than the part in the shade. So sometimes that can make it a little tricky when you're stamping concrete. You know, it doesn't dry evenly. So here we are. You know, this was about 45 minutes after the pour. And that part in the sun is ready. And the part in the shade really isn't that far behind it. So we're going to be able to just work our way right from the sun into the shade without really having to stop. I got the two girls doing the edges. They're putting the edger around it. And then I'm going to mag float the surface like I always do. And I do that to take out the bull float lines. Just bring up some paste, some more cream to the surface. And fill in anything that maybe the bull float didn't fill in. It just makes for a little bit nicer stamp job. And I'm the lightest one on the crew for the guys, so they always I'm always the one that has to get on it early and stop magging. So Darren's back there. He just threw some some powdered release agent. We usually use a a deep charcoal, which is kind of like black when we use a gray color in the concrete. And he set that first stamp, and now he's setting the other one. So we got about 10 or 11 of those stamps we're putting down. 
This is a majestic Ashler slate stamp we're doing today. So Luke and Darren are back there starting the process of stamping while I'm finishing up mag floating. We like that little texture roller for doing the edges just to make sure all the edges have really good texture. Sometimes when you overhang a stamp over the form, you don't get as good a texture right up next to the form. So we always try to roll the edges with that texture roller. We had to work off some staging back there. That's actually about eight feet in the air back there. Uh, this is a big, tall frost wall around this thing. And the land really tapered off, so they had some staging set up for us. We had to put the stamps up on the staging and then work off the staging, which, which made it pretty convenient, actually. So the guys are getting all the stamps up there. I'm just finishing up, and then I'm going to go back and help them. It's a pretty warm day here today. We're actually down on the coast of Maine in a, in a town called Damrascotta. So we're right on the ocean. Even if you can't see it right there, we're really close to it. And this is probably, this is about, you know, 8.30, 9 o'clock in the morning. The, the sun was up high. It's in the middle of July, so it's a pretty warm day. So we're, we're not going to be here that long doing this. It's probably going to take us about 30 to 45 minutes to get this thing stamped here today. And then we can move on to another, another project for today. But I just wanted to show you this stamping process with this Ashler slate. You know, these stamps, they go together uh, in a certain way. So they one corner has a notch in it, if you can see when them guys pick it up. And you got to keep that notch going the same way all the way, all the way through the process. And you can't you can't pick up a stamp and turn it uh, 45 degrees or 90 degrees and set it back down. It doesn't work that way with these stamps. So they click together one way, and you got to keep them going that way throughout the whole process. And there's different colored stamps there too. There's three different colors, and under those colors, the the slate pattern is a little different under each color. So we we try to keep rotating those colors too so we don't have the three colors right next to each other. You can see we're using the tamper today. If you've seen any of my other stamping videos, sometimes we don't use that tamper when the concrete is uh, you know, soft enough and we don't need to, but today it was drying pretty good and pretty fast, so we decided just to go with the tamper just to speed things up a little bit. See, you got one guy tamping there, then one guy picking up right after the guy tamps it, and then we just keep keep ourselves moving slow and steady. We put some poly up on that house today because we didn't want the concrete splattering up on it from the they're using that conveyor truck. Sometimes the concrete will splatter quite a bit, so that worked pretty good keeping the house clean. It'll also help a little bit with the, this release powder, keeping a little bit of this powder off the house. But the pressure washer will clean that off really good anyway. So how many of you guys stamp concrete? And how many of you guys want to learn how to stamp concrete? Let me know down in the comments. And also where you're from. You know, what, what state you're in, what city you're in. Stamping's a big, big part of our business. It's probably half of what we do is stamp concrete you know the other the other stuff is concrete floors concrete slabs you know pool deck sidewalks all kinds of flat work that's what we specialize in uh, we do a lot of concrete repair we even do a lot of uh, epoxy coatings over concrete flake coatings metallic coatings things like that but i have to say stamping is probably you know almost 50 percent of our business we do a ton of it here in the state of maine So make sure you stay tuned for the end of the video so you can see how this thing turns out. This thing turned out really good. They they had a really cool railing they put up in like a gazebo on the back of this thing. It it finished up looking really nice. 
it's kind of an art, you know, stamping is kind of an art. It takes, it does take some practice to get really good at it and get fast at it. When you first start out, you don't want to start out with anything too big. You want to kind of get the feel of the concrete under you. You don't want to start too early. Timing is everything. And you definitely don't want to start too late on a project. So get, knowing the timing and then knowing how fast you can move. If there's only two of you or if there's three of you or if there's four of you, you know, that's going to make a difference. The three of us have been stamping together for years and years and years. So we know that we can handle this much concrete if it's this hot out. So we're getting right down towards the end. And, you know, what we do when we start pulling these stamps off is we'll put them in the area where we can pressure wash them and clean them up and get them ready for the next job. We don't leave them dirty like this. So again, guys, that stamp concrete course will teach you how to do all this. And that's down in the description below. So check that out. And uh, this is what this looks like after we get done. It's going to, we're going to show you the finished product. You know, once we get done stamping, we'll come back the next day and we'll wash and saw cut this and then let it dry out for 24 hours. And then we'll come back and put the concrete sealer on. That's the usually the process, unless it rains in between. But uh, it's usually form it up one day, pour it the next day, clean it, saw it, and then seal it. So it's usually four days for us to do a project like this. And this is what it turned out like. This, it look, came out looking really good. The, the homeowners were really happy. The contractors that hired me were super happy. So if you want to learn how to do concrete like this, guys, it's all down below how to stamp concrete. Check it out. And thanks for watching, guys.